What do we know about the sun? It gives us light and heat. It rises in the morning and sets at night. It fries us like a strip of bacon if we don't put on sunscreen. So, is that everything? <laughs> of course it's not. Some facts about the sun will boil your brain, making you think twice about that big yellow ball. How old is it? Is it gonna kill us someday? I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 outrageously mind-bending facts about the sun. 25. Distance. How far are we from the sun here on Earth? Well, it depends on where you measure it. You see, the Earth moves in an elliptical orbit around the sun. In other words, it follows an oval-shaped trajectory. So it can vary from 147 to 152 million kilometers. 24. Hot footing it. Let's say you wanted to take a really long walk, and that somehow you were able to walk all the way to the sun. How long would it take you? Well, recent calculations state you need to set aside a cool 3,536 years to make the journey. Not so cool, perhaps, what with that heat. A much faster option is some kind of craft. That way, it'd only take you 19 years. 23. How the sun formed. Everything has to start somewhere. So with that in mind, where did our sun come from? The theory runs that it all began with a great big cloud of particles. This is composed of dust and gas and is called a contracting nebula. The cloud's elements don't float away from each other. Instead, they kind of begin gluing themselves together through gravity. Weirdly, the shape it forms at this early stage is that of a disk. At this point, it's becoming a protostar. Now things are really heating up, literally. It's important to mention that a finished sun is actually a nuclear bomb of sorts. The nuclear parts meet the gravity parts and these essentially keep the star in check. 22. Orbit. While we orbit the sun, the sun orbits the core of the Milky Way. And the time it takes to do so is pretty amazing. According to the scientists, the orbit is completed in approximately 250 million years. 21. Speed. Despite the sun being enormous, it probably moves pretty fast to get where it's going. And that's an understatement. The speed has been estimated at a mind-bending 200 kilometers per second. Now, that isn't anywhere near the speed of light, which has been clocked at 300,000 kilometers per second. However, it's still rather speedy. 20. Rotation. The Earth is a solid mass of rock that rotates as it circles the sun, whereas the sun is a huge ball of gas, so it doesn't all go around at once. The equator in the middle and the poles at either end of the star move at different speeds. While the equator takes around 25 days to perform that full turnaround, the poles take approximately 11 days longer. The speed differences also mean that the sun's magnetic field becomes more powerful in certain places. 19. Age of the sun. The sun is believed to be around 4.5 billion years old. That makes it the galactic equivalent of an old person, right? Wrong. In actual fact, the sun is middle-aged. Let's just hope it doesn't experience a midlife crisis. 18. A week without sun. We rely a lot on the sun. However, what would happen if one day it just went out? Big trouble, that's what. Our planet would cool down pretty fast. The estimate is that we'd be shivering at zero degrees in just a week, not to mention the physical and psychological effects we'd experience. No sunlight, no vitamin D. Also, because we're diurnal beings, as in we go by the sun, we'd feel totally lost. 17 goodbye gravity. Another consequence of the sun going AWOL is no more gravitational pull. We need it to stay in position, otherwise we'd spin off into the cosmos. There's a risk that we'd smash into something too. 16. It won't explode. I'm sure we're all grateful to the sun for the hard work it does making helium and sending heat, light, and energy our way. Of course, nothing lasts forever, and one day the sun is going to die that will spell trouble for humanity. One thing people will worry about when it comes to the sun is the idea that it might blow up. Fortunately, I have good news. That'll never happen. It's impossible for the sun to explode. It will, in fact, go the other way and sort of implode. Uh, to be more precise, it'll collapse inwards. That doesn't mean that we're clear, though, as our next entry will show you. 15. Too much sun. We believe at some point the sun will burn out and grow much larger. So much larger, in fact, that this new red giant will start effectively eating the surrounding planets. I wouldn't sweat about it too much, though. 
it's reportedly going to happen in approximately 130 million years. 14. Luminosity The sun is incredibly bright. Does that mean it's reached its peak brightness? Is it possible for the sun to become brighter? Well, yes and no. Yes, it is, and no, it won't look much brighter to us. You see, the sun's luminosity increases by 10% every billion years. 13. Energy Stats The sun converts hydrogen gas into helium gas at a truly astonishing rate. Every second, 700 million tons of hydrogen gas is turned into 695 million tons of helium. This in turn releases a powerful energy. The difference in numbers is key. The tonnage of the helium is now less than the hydrogen, enabling nuclear fusion. The 5 million ton difference is what becomes energy. 12. The surface is the coolest part. It's massively hot, with temperatures of 15 million degrees Celsius at the core. However, the surface of the sun is cool, at least relatively so. As energy passes from the core of the star to the outside, it goes down to 5,973 degrees Celsius. Bonus mind-bending fact, uh, this can take as long as a million years to happen. 11. Kaboom. Our planet requires a lot of energy, and thankfully the sun is there to provide that in spades. How can we measure the sun's energy in a simple and easy to understand way? Imagine if 100 billion tons of dynamite suddenly went off. Dramatic stuff. Actually, beyond dramatic, in fact. Yet, it would only amount to one second's worth of solar energy production. 10. Temperature mystery. The sun may seem pretty straightforward. Newsflash, it's anything but. There's a fair amount we don't know about our fiery yellow friend. For example, why does the temperature increase in its atmosphere? Remember when I said how the sun's surface is relatively cool? The temperature rises to approximately 2 million degrees Celsius once we venture up into the atmos. What causes this alarming increase? Well, to this day, we don't know. 9. Moonlight We are bathed in the sun's warming glow during the day. Then the sun sets, the moon comes up, and we experience that magical time when we're lit by the bright white lunar landscape. Only we aren't. It's still the sun lighting the way. What we're seeing is sunlight reflected off the moon's surface. 8. Earth Stuff The Sun is, of course, much bigger than Earth. It is nearly 12,000 times the surface area. So, naturally, scientists have wondered how many planet Earths you could fit inside the Sun. The answer is somewhere in the vicinity of a million. Though, if you wanted to be a kind of intergalactic sadist like Thanos and crush them all together like a guy packing a suitcase, then we're talking 1.3 million. Remember, this isn't goofing around, this is science. 7. A perfect shape. As you probably recall, I mentioned how the sun formed from a whole bunch of particles. It was created in chaotic circumstances, so you'd think it'd be wildly uneven in places. But no, the sun is pretty much a perfect sphere. It's a natural wonder, a fact made even crazier by the fact that this is a gas ball and not a solid mass. 6. Nazi Worship because of esteemed experts such as Dr. Indiana Jones, <laughs> we know the Nazis believed in some far-out concepts. The Ark of the Covenant and the Holy Grail aside, they also appreciated the sun. Or rather, they worshipped it. If you look at the graves of SS soldiers, they feature runic figures. Runic refers to an ancient Germanic writing system. These figures depict the setting of the sun. Other ancient symbols even made their way onto modern Nazi typewriters. Nazi typewriters are like regular typewriters, only they're way more evil. 5. Space Burps What happens when the sun needs to burp? Okay, so describing it as burping is a little immature, but how else would you define it when a solar flare suddenly bursts from the sun's surface? I could compare it to a pimple going pop, but that's a little icky. So we're going to go with burps. And these are powerful burps, my friends. You'd need to let off no less than a billion hydrogen bombs to match the power of some of these flares. It's also been compared to a volcano erupting at times a million. The flares are the greatest explosive forces in our solar system. They're caused by magnetic fields getting tangled up in each other. 24. Light Years The Sun is the heart of our planetary system, with all the planets rotating around it. However, this is just one piece of a vast cosmic puzzle. We're all part of a galaxy where there are many suns. With that in mind, how far is our Sun from the center of the galaxy? The answer is approximately 25,000 light years. As you can imagine, that is quite a distance. We're talking around a year to travel every one of those 25,000 light years, and that's moving at the speed of light, by the way. 
3. Peak of Eternal Light You probably already know that parts of our planet never have a sunset. This phenomenon also applies to space, only instead of it happening for limited periods of time, it goes on forever. Located on the moon, the Peary Crater is found close to the satellite's North Pole. It has something called the Peaks of Eternal Light, where it's sunny all year round. This is caused by a lack of tilt in the moon's rotational axis. 2. Touching the Sun Is it possible to touch the Sun? Yeah. Well, kind of. In 2018, NASA launched a Parker Solar Probe with the aim of getting up close and personal with the gaseous fireball. And after three years of deep space exploration, it brought back the news scientists had been hoping for. The little probe had gone where no one had gone before, to borrow an expression. It had actually touched the sun, achieving a milestone in history. By passing through the sun's corona, or upper atmosphere, the probe made serious progress in our understanding of how the star works. 1. Aurora Borealis The Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights, are a much talked about part of life on Earth. Maybe it's on your bucket list to go and see that beautiful light show, which happens thanks to Mother Nature. That said, the sun plays a major role also. If particles from the sun didn't collide with atmospheric atoms and interfere with their electrons, we wouldn't have Aurora Borealis in the first place. So, did you learn anything new about the sun? What's your favorite fact about it? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in that description. And you know what? I hope that I've bent your mind with these truly outrageous solar facts, or at least burned it a little. If you've had your fill of outrageous and mind-bending facts about the sun and would settle for some plain old crazy ones, then you need to check out this video right here. Oh, also, did you maybe know something about the sun that we didn't know? Like I said, let us know in the comments, and we'll see you soon. Check out this list. Just click it. We'll go watch more stuff together. Well, I'll be presenting. You'll be watching. But we'll do it together. Go team. High fives. <laughs>